so hello everyone welcome to all fours e learning classes we are going to start session 11 here in previous sessions we have discussed about only type of types of elimination reactions alpha beta alpha means what beta means what majority of the reactions are beta elimination reactions halides are having what type of reactivity nothing but bromide chloride iodide and what type of alkali halide undergoes easily elimination reactions we have discussed that concept yesterday only only introduction but how to write the product means already i told you based on the sage of rule we can write that products wherever elimination reaction is given elimination reaction is given based on the connected of halogen halogen connected with carbon based on the that connectivity we have to remove the hydrogen from left side or right side how to decide that one means based on the sage of rule based on the sage of rule based on the sage of rule we can write that product here markovnik rule means addition of electrophile or nucleophile to unsaturated compounds but sage of rule means elimination reactions what is the meaning of sage of rule means in elimination reactions we have to remove the hydrogen from more substituted carbon which is having less number of hydrogens which is having less number of hydrogens is called what sage of rule sage of rule means removal of hydrogen removal of hydrogen from more substituted carbon which is having less number of hydrogen is called what uh, less number of hydrogen is called what sage of rule for example here compound is given like this here compound is given which is having suppose to be here hydrogen is there here methyl here hydrogen is there here hydrogen so methyl means number of methyl groups 3 only one hydrogen only one hydrogen here x is there here x here how many hydrogens three hydrogens we have to remove the left side hydrogen or right side hydrogen means how can you say that one based on the sage of sage of rule means removal of hydrogen from more substituted carbon which is having less number of hydrogens this one is more substituted carbon having only one hydrogen this one having three hydrogens according to sage of rule we have to remove this one if you take this one here x is there here x here x is there right side carbon having three hydrogens the left side carbon having two hydrogens so less number of hydrogens then we have to remove this hydrogen but not this one here so according to sage of rule we have to write the product in elimination reactions elimination reactions for example here for example here compound is given like this here cs3 is given again cs3 is given cs3 is given here cl is given here cs2 cs3 cs2 cs3 here here alcoholic medium is given alcoholic koh is given or sometimes they will give you alcoholic na nh2 is given ethyl alcohol and sodium ethoxide trimethyl amine temperature is given all these reagents eliminating reagents here in the reagents in the presence of these reagents the molecule undergoes elimination dehydrohalogenation removal of halogens and hydrogens alkali koh is given the product is here cs3 again cs3 here two hydrogens here three hydrogens where we have to remove hydrogen from here so here ch again ch3 again cs3 so given compound is tertiary compound given compound is tertiary alkyl halide 
for example tertiary alkyl halide is given here chlorine here ch2 again ch3 again ch3 the first step is slow step the first step is slow step and rate determining step and bond cleavage step in between the carbon and chlorine in between the carbon and chlorine here so due to polarity or electronegativity difference the bond electron migrate towards chlorine means the chlorine released as cl minus cl minus which is going to lose the electron here carbon so here ch3 again ch3 plus here ch2 h again ch3 ch3 the formed carbocation is tertiary carbocation most stable carbocation the carbocation which is having positive charge the adjacent carbons are having hydrogens if you remove the hydrogen from here or here doesn't matter we'll get same product so total here two hydrogens here three hydrogens according to sage of rule we have to remove the hydrogen from here but not here here though so the carbon hydrogen bonded electron migrate towards c plus the h is replaced as h plus nothing but second step second step here first step first step removal of h plus removal of h plus here the final product is the final product is here ch cs3 final product is cs3s3 two methyl two butene two methyl two methyl two butene two methyl two butene is major product here this is the way to write that product but according to this concept nothing but first step multiple steps are possible in this case according to first step that means the rate is directly proportional to slow step which one is slow step first one or second one first step so first step here first step so in first step in first step only one reactant is involved in this case nothing but the rate is mainly depends on concentration of given alkyl halide only given alkyl halide only but not incoming group here why because the first step is bond cleavage step the bond cleavage step is important in this case now rate and alkyl halide so first order kinetics unimolecular reaction unimolecular reaction so carbocation intermediate and i told you yesterday carbocation intermediate having sp2 hybridization having sp2 hybridization rearrangement is possible in this case based on the given substrate structure we have to do that rearrangement based on the given reactant structure suppose to be given secondary carbon has x the adjacent carbon has tertiary nature then only you have to do rearrangement only so based on the given structure we can do that concept here this is a way to explain the given molecule follow that unimolecular elimination reaction or bimolecular elimination reactions bimolecular elimination reactions so second one is e2 reaction second one is e2 reaction e2 reaction e2 reaction wherever even reaction is given even reaction means tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary primary the reactivity of halogen order is tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary compounds wherever e2 reaction is given e2 reaction is given means the primary alkyl halide compounds undergoes bimolecular elimination reactions bimolecular elimination reactions for example here 
CH3, CH2, Cl is given. Here alcoholic NaOH or KOH is given. Alcoholic NaOH or KOH is given. Removal of HCl form the ethylene molecule. Removal of HCl form the ethylene molecule. Ethylene molecule. Given substrate has primary nature. Given substrate has primary nature means the molecule undergoes bimolecular elimination reaction. <coughs> bimolecular elimination reaction here. If you want to write the, the reactivity order of halides, primary here and secondary here tertiary. Nothing but simple halide is given undergoes bimolecular elimination reactions and the tertiary alkyl halide is given undergoes unimolecular elimination reaction here unimolecular elimination reaction here ethyl chloride is given ethyl chloride ethyl chloride ethyl chloride is given cl first step is bond formation step which is nucleophile in koh oh minus oh minus so oh minus is added to h plus again bond cleavage is possible in between the carbon and hydrogen the bonded electron migrate towards carbon carbon single bond the single bond becomes to what double bond after formation of double bond after formation of double bond after formation of double bond your bond cleavage is possible in between the carbon and a halogen so here carbon is given which is having three hydrogens which is having three hydrogens your bond cleavage is possible in between the carbon and hydrogen carbon and hydrogen here OH minus OH minus here bond formation is possible here bond formation is possible in between the carbon and carbon here bond cleavage is possible in between the carbon and chlorine here hydrogen again hydrogen is given the state is generally called what transition state transition state transition state nothing but wherever unimolecular reaction is given the reaction proceed via carbocation intermediate wherever bimolecular reaction is given the reaction proceed via less stable transition state here transition state this one is first step this one is slow step this one is rate determining step rate determining step here first step slow step rate determining step the rate mainly depends on slow step only according to mechanism here so second step second step is first step here first step removal of groups then we'll get what here c double one c here h again h here Final product is ethylene product. Ethylene product here. Final product is ethylene product. Ethylene product. Here, according to that concept, rate is directly proportional to what? Which one is slow step? First step. The rate is mainly depends on first step here. The first step is the first step is rate determining step and bond formation step that means how many components involved in this case alkyl halide and incoming group alkyl cons alkyl halide concentration and incoming group both are involved in this case means bimolecular reaction bimolecular reaction bimolecular reaction nothing but elimination reaction means bimolecular elimination reaction here so bimolecular reaction is given 
the rate is depends on alkali halide and OH minus concentration based on the given reagent we can write that one wherever unimolecular reaction is given the rate is mainly depends on what here only substrate con concentration substrate concentration substrate concentration so this is the way to write that uh, mechanisms of E1 reactions and E2 reactions E2 uh, reactions so now here reactivity order means iodide iodide is greater than bromide is greater than chloride bromide is greater than chloride nothing but there is no change in the alkyl groups in this case so alkyl iodides are more reactive when compared to alkyl bromides and alkyl chlorides alkyl iodides greater than alkyl bromides greater than alkyl chlorides here wherever only alkyl group is given no change in the halogen alkyl group different alkyl group is given no change in the halogen for example tertiary alkyl halide tertiary alkyl halide reactivity is more when compared to secondary alkyl halide secondary is more when compared to primary alkyl halide primary alkyl halide tertiary alkyl halide is more reactive than secondary secondary is more reactive than primary alkyl halogen compounds halogen compounds nothing but tertiary carbon secondary carbon primary carbons like this here supposed to be given like this here x here c double bond cx here here cx x is equal to chlorine 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 or bromine 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 or iodine 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 like this here for example 2 chlorobutane is given 2 chlorobutane 2 chlorobutane 2 chlorobutane 2 chlorobutane is given 2 chlorobutane compound 2 chlorobutane compound reacts with alkalic koh or sodium ethoxide or potassium ethoxide potassium ethoxide is given sodium ethoxide or potassium ethoxide is given according to that given medium elimination reactions nothing but we have to write the eliminated product in this case when compared to aqueous medium alkalic medium is important in this case alkalic medium is important alkalic medium means first priority is given to elimination wherever aqueous medium is given the first priority is given to substitution that is the difference in between the two reactions now here secondary compound is given the secondary halide having two types of hydrogens secondary hydrogens and primary hydrogens given base is small base given group is small group given reagent is small reagent so smaller one is given we have to write the product according to sedgep rule bulky base is given we have to write the product according to hoffman rule that means Hoffman rule means removal of hydrogen from less substituted carbon which is having more number of hydrogens. Here small group is given, nothing but small reagent is given, we have to write this Sedgep product. When you remove the chlorine from here, that one is Sedgep. When you remove the hydrogen from here, that one is the Hoffman product. This one is Sedgep product. Sedgep product. Hoffman product. So here CH3, here double bond CH3 plus CH2, CH double bond CS2. Hoffman product, sorry, Sage of product. Sage of product. Hoffman product. Hoffman product. Small base is given, Sedgep product is a major one. 
सेंजे प्रोडक्ट इज मेजर वन हाफ मन प्रोडक्ट इज मैनर वन हाफ मन प्रोडक्ट इज मैनर वन सो वेर एवर बल्क बेस इज गिवेन गिवेन रिजेंट सैज इज मोर गिवेन रिजेंट सैज इज मोर इ बल्क बेस इज गिवेन द स्टीरिक एफेक्ट इज मोर दट वन एटाक दट लेस इंडर्ड सैड दट मीन विच इज हाविंग मोर नंबर आफ हाइड्रोजन एंड लेस नंबर आफ कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्स सो यू रिमेंबर बल्क बेस इज गिवेन हाफ मन प्रोडक्ट इज इंपारटेंट हाफ मन प्रोडक्ट इज इंपारटेंट एंड सैड जब प्रोडक्ट इज मैनर वन इन दिस केस सो वेर वी हेव टू रिमूव दिस वन हियर here ch3 again ch2 ch double bond ch2 here ch3 again ch double bond here ch3 this one is half mon product this one is sadia product which one major half mon product is major product sadia product is minor product here minor product half mon product is major product so based on the reagent size we can explain which one is major here bulky one is given half mon product is major smaller one is given sadia product is major this is a way to write that product from given reactant given reactant here given reactant for example here compound is given like this which is having here cs2 cs2 br again here ch2 cs2 nothing but br here again here br is given br is given number of compounds are 3 here 1 Two, three. Nature is same or different? Different. One, primary halide. Two, secondary halide. Three, tertiary halide. Tertiary halide here. Then how can you write the reactivity order of given reactants? How can you write the reactivity order of given substrates? Based on the connectivity of halogen, we can write that reactivity order. Already we have discussed that one. Tertiary is tertiary compound reactivity is more when compared to secondary. Secondary is more when compared to primary compounds. So the reactivity order is tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary. Nothing but third one is tertiary, second one is secondary, first one is primary. The reactivity order is. third compound reactivity is greater than second compound second compound reactivity is greater than first compound here first compound first compound this is a way to write that reactivity to write that reactivity here for example here compound is given like this here CH3 is given. Number of hydrogens are three. Number of hydrogens are three. Here, bromine or chlorine or iodine is given. Bromine or chlorine or iodine is given. Remember, here alcoholic NaOH or C2H5OH and C2H5ONA. Small base is given. Small base is given. small base small base is given means we have to write the product based on the sage of rule based on the sage of rule the connected carbon having secondary secondary and primary carbons secondary carbon means having two hydrogens two hydrogens both are having same nature because according to connectivity we can say that concept number of hydrogens two Number of hydrogens two here, both are having same nature. Your primary hydrogens. Given the agent smaller one, then we have to write the sage product means if you remove the hydrogen here or here doesn't matter. We will get same product in this case. 
so same product here plus again ch3 removal of hydrogen from here removal of hydrogen this is the product here supposed to be here triethyl amine is given triethyl amine high temperature is given triethyl amine and high temperature is given bulky base is given in this case bulky base is given means we have to write the product based on sedgwick rule but priority is given to hoffman so again here ch again h here h where we have to remove hydrogen in this case where we have to remove hydrogen in this case primary carbon the product is like this hoffman product is formed here hoffman product formed here here sedge product is formed in this case nothing but in first case sedge product is major one in second case hoffman product is major one how can you say that one means based on the reagent size bigger reagent is given bulky nature is more that one can attack that less hindered side which is having less number of carbon carbon bonds having more number of hydrogens small group is given can attack that more substituted carbon which is having less number of hydrogens this is the way to write that product sedge of product and hoffman product sedge of product and hoffman product here for example here for example here compound is given like this compound is given like this which is having two double bonds two double bonds here compound is given like this which is having one double bond chlorocyclohexane chlorocyclohexane here so elimination reaction elimination reactions elimination reactions elimination reaction 1 2 3 so active hydrogen here removal of hcl removal of hcl removal of hcl from the compound like this which is having three double bonds benzene compound removal of hcl from the compound like this nothing but conjugated system is formed in this case conjugated system is formed in this case so final product is double bond here final product is double bond here double bond here according to this concept which one form the most stable compound first one first one again conjugated system here so when compared to second one third one less stable reason conjugated system here most stable compound is formed means the reactant reactivity is more here according to that concept number of compounds are three here which is having more reactivity first compound reactivity is more due to formation of most stable aromatic compound due to formation of more stable aromatic compound here now reactivity order is now reactivity order is tertiary first compound reactivity is more when compared to secondary sec, uh, second one second compound reactivity is more when compared to third compound so first one is more reactive due to formation of aromatic compound aromatic compound here this is a way to write that reactivity order in elimination reactions in elimination reactions supposed to be here compound is given like this which is having aromatic ring aromatic ring again here cl is given cl is given cl first compound that one 
second compound is given like this which is having aromatic ring air chlorine air chlorine both are having secondary hydrogens but which one is more reactive which one is more reactive here which is connected with completely aromatic ring hydrogen is more active hydrogen more acidic hydrogen due to that reason the second compound reactivity is more when compared to first compound both will form the same products after reaction before reaction which is having more reactivity means based on the connectivity of hydrogens the compound which is having more active hydrogen that can easily remove hydrogen then form the product here this is the way to explain the reactivity of different type of compounds different type of compounds here